ankle therapy, if you are in advanced beginning or intermediate, you need either a band or this is like a bathrobe belt that also works just fine. So like a stretchy band like this. Anything to wrap around your foot to hold it. You need something to push up against, okay? If you're in beginning and you want to do this one, you can just do toe points like this and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to skip this way so you can see better. Okay, so let me see what I even wrote down over here. Let me zoom out. Twenty of each? Okay. So if you're doing it with a band or if you're doing it with the um, belt, you're going to put it right up almost on your toes. Punch your foot forward, we're going to do one foot at a time, pull back, and you're going to point your toe twenty times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, make sure you point it all the way, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this is super important because as we, as we get tumbling a little bit more, you need really strong ankles because then if you, if you accidentally roll one, if you land a little short and you crunch it, it won't take as long to recover. Sometimes when I crunch my ankles, you know, I just roll them out and I can keep tumbling. But if I don't do ankle exercises and I crunch my ankles, it can hurt pretty bad for a couple days and I wouldn't be able to tumble for a few days. The stronger ankles you have, we're going to turn our foot sideways this way, like this, and go 20, 2, 3. The stronger ankles you have, um, the less likely they are to get injured just as you're tumbling. I have lost count. We're going to call that 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. And if you couldn't see, this is straight, and what I just did was turn my ankle this way. And now we're going to do straight and turn our ankle this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And that's all it is. It shouldn't hurt real bad. And it shouldn't be super hard. It's just something that you could do, you know, after practice or, you know, every other day, uh, every two days, and it will make a huge difference. I promise. It's something that you only notice if you're not doing it because your ankles will start to get very tired. So let's do the other foot. Straight up and down like this. Turn sideways for this one again. Up and down one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you guys keep going, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, don't put it too far up on your toes. I'll do some of this too so you guys can see. And this works just fine too. You just need something to, to hold on to. So we'll go sideways, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the idea is it doesn't matter what you're pushing against, as long as your foot is pushing against something. It's like using weights, it'll make you stronger if you're using heavier weights or if you're pushing against something, right? Turn this way. One, two, three. My roommate's doing yoga for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if you could hear it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And if that hurt the back of your legs a little bit, you can take a break. You can do another set. You don't have to use the bands both times. You can take a break and do it without bands. Um, but try and do two sets every time you do these.